magnificently. Sam Reid and Ben Reid. Oh, good spoil, Ben. You've towed your younger brother up a couple of times already, mate. Yeah, I guess <laughs> we've only really played on each other once. And, um, it was oh, a bit... well, I was just trying to exaggerate and make you <laughs> sound better, mate. It was just a, uh, it was a different, I suppose, different matchup. I wasn't really used to playing on him at any stage of my life. We sort of always played on the same team. But um, uh, he's going well and it's, uh, it's good to see. Are you close? I mean, do you speak regularly? Yeah, we do. We speak probably weekly and, and that sort Give of thing. Give him a bit of advice. A few texts and, and that sort of thing. Yeah, a couple of advice. We don't speak footy that much. He's, um, <laughs> he's just found a new love, a new girlfriend. Oh. So, um, I think he's uh, pretty loved up with that at the moment. And any chance perhaps of just coaxing him down to the Magpies at some stage, He's mate? just signed a, I think, a five-year deal. OK, so well, let's, uh, let's forget that. <laughs> <laughs> and look forward to Saturday night. It's going to be an absolute beauty at Amy Stadium. The record over there is, is pretty good, but it's a massive task for the boys. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, I watched them on the weekend and they're playing some fantastic footy and uh, it'll be a great challenge for the boys and um, I'm sure they're ready for it. Now, you're out. Chris Tarrant's not playing. We know that. Nathan Brown is out. So a lot rests on Lockie Keefe to, in a sense, carry the key defensive post. Uh, how have you seen his season? I think he's been fantastic. You know, um, yeah, you know, obviously the three of us haven't been there this year. We've we've all had our injuries and that sort of thing. Kevy's probably been the mainstay uh, for the entire year, really. And um, I think he's done a fantastic job, and I'm sure he's ready for this battle this week. Taylor Walker's not playing for Adelaide, so I imagine his role will be on Kurt Tippett. How do you think he might match up on Tippett? Yeah, you know, he's obviously got the height to go with him. Um, I think they're both 200 plus centimetres. So um, you know, I think Kefi played a little bit of him on the preseason, so that should give him a little bit of confidence. And um, I'm sure he's ready for it. And um, pretty confident to be able to do a good job. What are you going to do when all the key defenders are available? Uh, at the moment, there's uh, only one basically left. Of course, Nick Maxwell will be able to fill in as well. But uh, we noticed you played forward a couple of weeks ago. Is that something that we could see more of? Yeah, I guess it could be. I mean, obviously, there's, a, there's four key defenders that are you know, obviously all vying for that position, which is which is pretty healthy to have. And um, Keefe obviously went back, uh, went sorry, went forward against Brisbane and, and played pretty well, and I went back against the Dogs. So if we can get that versatility, I suppose it can only help us in the long run. And he looks as though he could almost play that secondary ruck role as well. Yeah, he can. He's got the height and he's probably got the athleticism as well to, to run around the ground, and I'm sure he'd run a few opponents into the ground if he, if he had a chance. Now, Tyson Goldsack's another that we know can play back, but... Hasn't he been in outstanding form playing forward and unlikely that we'll ever see him back again the way he's going? Yeah, he has. He's, uh, he hasn't shut up all week about how many goals he's been kicking. He reckons um, he's a chance for the Coleman, I think. So, uh, but he's done fantastic and his, his pressure in the forward line, I suppose, is a big thing. He's, um, you know, you know his tackling's really good and he, he always competes in the air and that sort of thing, which is all we can ask for him. What's your assessment of, of the depth of the football club? 33 players used through the first eight rounds, which is a lot. Do you feel like there's enough depth to cover the injuries? Of course, Dane Swan's also going to be missing this this week and for perhaps a couple of weeks. Yeah, obviously Swanee's Swanee's going to be out, but you know that gives a chance for Beams in and Sidey to step up even more. They've been fantastic. But there's guys like Jamie Elliott, um, Tom Young, those sort of guys playing fantastic footy in the twos, and you, know, you don't have to look part, much further than last week when they beat the top side down there. So um, they're going well down there, and I'm sure if they get a chance to step in, they'd. Well, I'm sure they do the job. OK, so what for you this Saturday night? The game's in Adelaide, so I imagine that you're not going over. What, seat up, feet up on the couch, mate? A uh, couple of relaxing drinks, dare I say it? Yeah, no, no. You better not admit to I'm that. Rigid, but, um, <laughs> I'll probably just sit back on the couch and, and watch the game and uh, have a good feed and uh, yeah, hopefully the boys get up and have a good win. Well, good luck, mate. Uh, all the best with the recovery. Thanks, mate. Look forward to it. Going to be a great game, a fantastic game. Amy, Amy Stadium, Collingwood versus Adelaide. And, of course, let's hope for another big pie win. That's all I've got time for. We look forward to your company next week on The Club.